Hey video game fans, this is Matt, back for another Fallout New Vegas player new player guide. I need to catch you up on uh, where we've been. Get into the game here first. Make sure it loads. I'm gonna waste my voice if it fails to load up, which it's done once already. Okay, uh, catch me, catching you up. Um, since the last video, I did what I said I was going to do. I, I came up uh, back to the Mojave, uh, well, it's Mojave Outpost. I uh, talked to the people here that gave out quests. I went down and I killed off the ants. Um, uh, clearing the road got me my reward. I went back to Prim. I told the sheriff that he, uh, uh, or the guy that was wanting to be the new town sheriff, told him he was good that it, that he got his pardon uh so the people in the town are, are in the process of going back to their homes and getting uh life back to normal um really really isn't any other reason for me to go back in that direction now at least not there i do have some things i want to show in that vicinity but i don't think we're going to be going to prim on I'm not going to be recording anything in Prim again. Everything is pretty much uh, by the book. It's, there's no strats involved with anything. A um, couple of little things. Well, I don't know. We've already been to the Coyote, or not Coyote, the, uh, what are they called, Night Stalkers. We've already been to their cave. We did their thing. So now we're, I got the mission from Ghost on the rooftop telling us to go over to Nipton. But before I go over there, I'm going to come out here a little bit. So it's another piece of loot that's easy for people. New people don't even go over here, which is smart because all we got over here are scorpions. And once we get past the scorpions, we're in the big crescent-shaped crevice, which is filled with geckos, and they're nasty too. But there is a little treasure to be found here. Major. I want to stay away from them. Actually, since we didn't actually get in a fight with these guys, I'm going to come up here and pick a fight with the... Okay. Uh, I take that back. I'm not losing Eddie. I lose too much strategy. That's the downside of playing on hardcore, and it's the downside of playing on hard mode. Hard mode means that... Uh, your threats are going to be a little greater. And hardcore mode means your followers and Eddie can easily, well, they can die. If you're not playing on the hardcore mode, um, they could just get stunned. And after combat, you can get them back. Like I said, I'm going to present the game the way, I've, the way it's, you know, thrown at me. Yeah, our little... Our little critters are here this time. Toasty! Young Night Stalker. It's alright, we got a, a new level. I'm going to keep leveling this up as long as I keep using this incinerator. There's rhyme to my reason. I like to get my lock picking to 75 as quickly as humanly possible because at level 25 you can unlock easy locks. At 50 you can unlock the medium ones. And at 75 you can unlock the hard ones. The only locks you need to worry about at that point are the ones that are like really, really, really hard. The ones that require 100. And once you get to 75 it's not that challenging. It's not that hard to get a magazine to get another 20 points and throw in some uh, you know drugs that give you the extra five that you need but anyway i like to get that as high as i can just for my own survival sense um everything else i'm not really shooting for specific uh perks in this version i'm trying to keep my skills fairly balanced outside of the few i mean i'm going to keep pumping in things that i want to show in combat um and lock picking is always important so for me anyway I'm watching a first-time player play this, and their decisions are not, not nothing like what I would do. 
Um, but that's fine. You know, that's you have to play the game that's presented to you and make the decisions for yourself. There's no uh, there's no script for playing this game. You're going to come across some difficult challenges and how you choose to deal with them. So, for new players, there is a big crescent canyon that covers this entire basin. That little, this little ridge line is the top of it. You can't get on the other side of that, at least not through, without clipping through the uh, environment. Below it is a deep uh, crevice, a little canyon. That thing is, is littered with, I think... Green geckos? I can't remember. One of the different kind of gecko varieties. Much bigger. We're talking geckos that are taller than you are. Um, and of a different type than the type that you found between uh, between uh, here and Good Springs. So don't recommend going there until you're ready for it. I mean, they're not the, the most difficult creatures in the game to beat, but, you know, we just got killed by a giant scorpion. So, you know, you don't, you don't mess with these things if you can avoid them. Anyway, there is one little chest underneath this crashed bird you can pick up. I don't know what they're chasing. Yeah, see, I'm not worried about the little scorpions. The little ones we can deal with. It's the, the ones that are specifically called giant that are pretty nasty for somebody at our low level. Okay, well, we crossed Ivanpah um, Dry Lake. We got a little bit of a peak of the racetrack. Well, this is the extreme southern end of that. There's a dead giant scorpion husk here with a bunch of ants feeding on it. not the you don't really have to engage with all these ants you can avoid them fairly easily but where I'm going next I, I don't want to have to fall back to this position and have a bunch of hostile ants in my face so I just assume get rid of them now that ant just does not want to die there we go another trick to do with ants is to shoot them in the antenna and they can frenzy. There he is. If he's frenzied, he'll attack anything that's near him, including other ants. There we go. It's sometimes hard to get there when you're using a controller. I don't know what these guys are. They're like stuck in some kind of a glitch. Because they're just sitting there. I think one fell into the environment. As far as looting ants... Ant eggs are okay. I mean, they're a, basically a food source, but they're not, you, know, you can sell them, but as you can see, they're not worth that much. And ant meat, the same difference. It's th y These are something you need to cook. You can eat ant eggs raw. If you eat ant meat raw, you're going to lose two strength points. It's poison. Food goes down. It's not good. Uh, but it's a, useful for, for recipes. You can cook the ant meat. All right. I don't know what these guys are problem. Let's see if I can... Yeah, that's, that's just a glitch. 
And that's going to bother Eddie. They're going to just sit there causing problems until we get rid of them. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, let's see if I got some Hydra still. They don't have bodies. Come on, Ro come on. She's going to sit there and shoot at them. So the next tangle we're going to have to deal with is at this building out here. Again, don't pay any mind to the little yellow blips on the radar. Those are crows. You do get one experience points for killing them. Can't use bots on them, though. Anyway, the red dots that are out here are a gang that's hiding out at this old building. They can be tough, especially on the higher uh, if you're playing on a higher level or a harder, harder difficulty setting. It's good loot. Take them out. Uh, I'm trying to think what kind of weapon I might want to use. I don't want to use my grenade. I'd rather use something else. Don't have a lot of shots left there. Got nothing there. Let's just take them on. I forgot about my medics. Try to get us from the other side of the road. All right. Only had to waste one launched grenade. Decent loot. At least one of them will have heavy armor. If you're into heavy armor, there'll be a nice set of metal armor from one of them. I'm using lightweight leather. I like the leather armor. Use it to fix up my own. Drop that gun again. There we go. And maintain. Cowboy repeater. Oh, nobody's here with heavy armor this time. Me ran off. Some frag grenades. There's two ammo cases. Is there one of them you have to uh, use lock picking on? The other one you don't. There's a campfire here. There's bedding here. So you can rest up here if you come in here in the middle of the night. Oh, shoot. That was the super stim pack. I shouldn't use that. Well, oh, it healed me back up. Let's see. I should check my status. I haven't done that in a while. Radiation's decent. I gotta get some fixer. I got stim pack sickness. That means I'm I'm addicted to stim packs too. Oh my god. My stats have gotta be suffering for that. But I haven't found any fixer yet, as far as I know. I'm gonna have to see if any doctors might have some. Alright, where are you at, Eddie? Oh, he's already overloaded. Oh, so much for that idea. Didn't plan this through. Well, luckily we're not too far away. I can run back and trade with the trader before he uh, turns in for the night. Maybe. If I... Oof. Ooh, ooh. All right, there's, I 
I'm, I'm pretty good about not carrying junk, so... Tripper. Great. Okay, well, he's going to start shooting at the stupid ant, ants again, I'm sure. Still there, frozen. As far as I know, that's just a glitch. I've never encountered that before on the Xbox, so it's just another one of those little things that happens, I guess. I don't care about most minor bugs. It's, it's not persistent. It doesn't cause the game to crash. And, it doesn't happen every time you play, so... Ah, the bastards went up. Gah. I guess I should take the time. I know it was getting late, but... Nope, they haven't gotten all the way back to camp yet. I got to uh, get rid of some stuff in both my inventory and Eddie's. We do this a lot. Hey there. Need <laughs> Does he have anything I want? Probably not. If I need to, I can buy some more uh, nukes. They're they're heavy, but if I ever find a Nuka launcher, it'll be, it'll be nice. I'll keep the repeater. If I keep it, keep getting more of them, I can fix it up and use it. Um, yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. Ant nectar. That's the other thing. Uh, search in ne the regular ant bodies. That means just the ones that don't blow fire. Um, ant Nectar gives you plus four to strength. Uh, so if you really, really need some strength boost, that's a great way to give yourself. It's the most of any of the basic uh, stuff. Most of these only give you like a plus one or a plus two. That plus four is huge. I mean, it comes with some negative traits too, but those are less concern to you when you're just trying to carry stuff across the, the wasteland. Most of that's fine. I'm not going to get rid of duct tape. I could have dumped that. Oh, we got a lot of different ammo I just don't want to part with. Okay, now I have to make sure I get something from him to counterbalance all of this. A GRA plasma pistol, fine. Have any other GRA weapons? Well, let's see if he's got. Well, that's too much. That's three thousand for that laser sight for a twelve point seven pistol, which aren't exactly growing on trees out in the wilderlands. Poof! Yeah, I can't afford that. I'd have to. I'd have to get rid of so much. I have to find something else. Preferably something that doesn't weigh anything, so... Wow. Jeez. Miscellaneous ammo. That's heavy stuff, but it's pretty cool.
How could I be giving it? What am I selling him that's so... What the heck? Why is... Oh, I gotta see. I'm... Oh, I over overshot somehow. Oh, I bought too many of those. That's all it is. It's that ammo. It was just really expensive. There we go. He still has caps. One big delay after another. Bleak. I also talked to Cassie sitting at the bar. Cassidy got her little mission update. Most of this is stuff I want to keep for now. What is he carrying that I don't want? He's doing a pretty good job of carrying stuff I want to I want to keep. Yeah, ammo's going to be an issue until I find the right weapons to consume it. How about we take all those energy cells? They're so plentiful. That actually lightens them up quite a bit. Um, I need him to carry all these. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking ahead of some of the stuff I want to do. the next several recordings um, in my head of what I'm planning on doing background and I'm about ready to do that northern trek I just thought I'd do these kind of in a regional order but I'm gonna have to throw a little wrench in that okay um, don't need that don't need that uh, She's got a lot of money. She can afford to take some of this stuff off my hands. Um, don't need the hats. As far as healing stuff goes, I don't really... This is all pretty good stuff or stuff I can utilize. There's not a lot of junk in there anyway. Um, let's see. And ammo. This is the other thing I wanted to trim down. Um, we got plenty of 556 five, ammo. And we got plenty of 9mm. I don't need any of that energy cell. That by itself is going to lighten me up. If I just turned this off hardcore, I wouldn't have a lot of these problems because. Okay, here's the big thing about hardcore that you need to know. Amongst the other challenging difficulty things that they put on there, and they're not that hard to overcome, the biggest part of the change is your inventory management. If you're not playing on hardcore, ammo doesn't weigh anything. So you can, can basically carry as much ammo for all your weapons, never have to store it. You can just unrealistically carry every bullet, every shell, every explosive, every rocket that any of your weapons use and carry it on your person at all times. Not very realistic. It's one of the biggest reasons why I recommend doing hardcore, because it just adds a little more realism to the game. The downside to this is 
your play style. You just can't pick up all the ammo, or if you do, you're going to need to sell some of it, which is something that's just like, oh, why would I ever sell ammo? I might as well use it. Well, yeah, but you can only use one weapon at a time. Um, so choosing what to store in your base or what Eddie carries around, there's no reason for me to carry around energy that the energy cells because I'm not using a weapon that uses them. Actually, I picked up that plasma pistol. What does that use? <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah, and it uses these cells. Oh, well. Not the big a deal. I didn't... They're easy enough to pick up. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I just won't carry the plasma pistol for a while. Got the cowboy repeater. I did want to get rid of some of this extra ammo. I don't have any weapons that can fire 50 caliber yet. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, now to catch us back up to our next section. As you approach uh, Nipton, well, before we get there, there is some little... You don't want to get too close to this basin over here because there are scorpions out there and they will trigger, trigger Eddie and he'll want to go fight and then you don't really want to fight out there. You start off thinking, oh, I'm just going to kill this one scorpion and then all of a sudden you're, you're in a tanglement with three or four of them. Oh, wait a second, where did this thing go? Did they remove the... There's usually... Oh, no? There's usually a chest or something over there. Not this. I mean, there's a briefcase there, but it's not got nothing in it. Well, there used to be a uh, wardrobe here. Huh, I wonder if they removed it. Oh, well, we'll worry about that the one we killed across the street. I still swear that there's a guy with heavy armor. Maybe they come in later. As you approach Nipton to catch up, there's going to be a gunfight. You're going to hear it first, then you're going to see, hey, what's going on? Well, that was quick. The girl won this time. Did you see that? That guy was going to kill me. I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that psycho came out of nowhere and started shooting. He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Some what? Never mind. I'm going to take a few moments to compose myself, then head out. Thank you again. Yeah, she was the one that jumped him, by the way. She is lying. But since we already killed... The other guy. I told you about the, the dude that runs up and tells you about the Sarsaparilla stars. And he's got like six on him. Well, this necklace has got nine of these bottle caps. So, I don't feel bad about shooting her because she was the one that attacked this poor guy. He's just a kid. And he's got his journal. He's a nice enough dude. Read his journal there. Next encounter. So that guy was a powder ganger. You can kill him, you can let him go, doesn't matter. He runs, he makes a beeline for the basin. And if you want to follow him, be my guest. He's what well, he's gonna do is gonna he's gonna basically run into a bunch of scorpions who will kill him. Or if he manages, if you had already cleared the place of scorpions, he'll run over into that basin area and get killed by geckos. Either way, he's not long for this world, so don't feel too bad about him. Um I'm not going to record the scavenging run of of this lovely town of Nipton. Um, there are a number of buildings here. There's some great, great loot. 
There's a few uh, bark scorpions out here in the trailer park, which pretty much Eddie can handle, but... One of my favorites of the DLCs you can access in the uh, the second drive-in theater. Oop. There's one more over here. Right. As far as loot go, this trailer park it really isn't much. Um, you can find a few lottery tickets scattered around. Some Nuka Cola, purified water. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like, ooh, wow. You do have one campsite. A campfire, I should say. A box of cigarettes, some beds. And behind it is the drive in theater, which is, again, fairly easy to miss. Unless you're curious about the big wall. Oh, there's some raiders over there running. I don't know what that's about. Jackal gang. I'm just wondering what's chasing. What? Something chasing them, or are they chasing something? Oh, yeah, those are the guys that end up going back to your camp that you just left. If they manage to cross that desert, that's some good bodies to loot. I might follow them. So there's a crashed satellite here. If you view it during the daytime, you can't really do anything with it. But at night, it'll start projecting stuff on the screen. And you can use it to, to take you to the Big Empty. The Big Empty is a the, the location for the DLC content, Old World Blues. Very scientific, very uh, robot, a lot of robots, a lot of serious threats, but a pretty cool DLC. <laughs> that cracks me up that those guys just ran across there. Now eventually they make their way over to that campsite, so the next time you travel over there it'll be restocked. Anyway, this is how you get there. It's fairly easy to get, it's easy enough to get there. Um, it is a, it's not one of the ones that forces you to stay there the whole time, but you will need to complete some things first before they let you come back. So you're going to have to, it's not just going to be a quick detour. If you go there for a little bit, you can come back before you finish everything in there. Um, and you can go back and forth. They have an excellent base there. That's usually where I like to make my main base is in there. other points of interest uh, this train track over here eventually comes to a spot where it's uh, the bridge is out and there's a wrecked train there's nothing there perfect opportunity here to go find some little area well somebody came out here with their lottery ticket but they didn't go anywhere place is blocked off so it's just a dead end Up the edge of the map. Just exploring the area south of Nipton. Little outpost here, little uh, raider camp. This is where those guys came from. Another hollowed out rock. There's a booby trap inside, so you got to be prepared for that if you go inside. There is some decent loot. There's a campfire here, but it's under the weeds. Pair of 45, and I don't have that. Probably because of all my, <laughs> all my sicknesses. Fixing things. Uh, 
this place does uh, respawn bad guys. They will come back, so it's not a place that you can use as your base unless you really want to have to clear it out every time, every so often. But as you can see, it's decent loot, and it's not very hard to get this stuff. And I lost one of those grenades went into the environment. Bottles. I don't think there's anything else. More empty bottles. Magazines. Get the heck out of here before you tangle with the jackals again. Yep, see, it's projecting. You can see what this looks like if you've never seen it. I wonder if there's anybody out there that's played the original Fallout New Vegas but didn't play any of the DLC content. I mean, there's an entire second game if you have all the DLC content. Anyway, that's how you go to the Big MT. Back to Nipton. I'm not going to do this on camera. I'm not going to do all my scavenging like I usually do. I go through each building systematically, loot all the stuff I want to do, want to de deal with. There's some uh, tool things in there that you can deal with too. Um, there's an encounter in here. Get some information about good or about uh, you were told to scout the place, and this is one way you can get information. God damn it! I was nodding off until you barged in here, and I don't hurt when I sleep. This is one guy I don't feel bad about killing. Medics and fuck off. <laughs> I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live. <laughs> but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. Nice. I'm fucking crippled. Okay, I can spare some. Here, man. Why don't you just... Five doses? Nice. A fella could put himself out of his misery with five doses. Still a jerk, though. The Legion. Legion. Tell him about the lottery. Where did it go wrong? What happened to everyone who got tickets? He tells you about all the different people and how that they were dealt with. Now, this is where you can choose to go save them. He doesn't care if you go and try to save the people. They were hauled off as slaves. But it's a decent Don't little... Like uh, it's a nice little bit of karma. That gives you a mission. See, so booted. Now, you know some stuff about what's here. Again, a little more experience. So basically, long story short, the Legion came to town, sacrificed and killed everybody, um, basically using the lottery ticket system. S basically, there were three categories of quote-unquote winners. The number one winner was the dude we ran into on the edge of town. He got to go free. They do that, so they want him to go and tell everybody how horrible the Legion is and, you know, put the fear of them and their presence. Second place, the guy downstairs, they crippled him. That's your reward for second place. You get to live, but you're a cripple. Third place are all of the lovely people who get to be slaves. They got to get hauled off back to the Legion area and get put to hard work where they will eventually die. And maybe if they're lucky enough, they get turned into breeding stock. That's about all they get, got to look forward to. Decent little bit of strategy here, or a little bit of salvage. Nothing, you know, exceptionally good, but some materials if you're ever looking for stuff. Again, plenty of bottles. Glass pitcher, it's useful for making purified water if you get the recipes to do this stuff. Uh, flatware and, and the, the plates, all of these things are useful for crafting things. Until I have recipes to do it or I know I have the skills to use it, I generally just leave the stuff unless I have just an unreal amount of empty inventory space and I rarely do. Cigarettes and other stuff. Okay. Now, as I said, I usually go loot all of these buildings out get all the stuff might even go back to to the that mojave outpost and trade stuff um and then i come over and i talk with caesar's legion dudes 
as I am, I'm not in a hurry, but I want to show more stuff, and I've already sidetracked us enough with stuff that is less important. I'm going to show you what my next bit of strategy is. Actually, I want the cowboy repeater. i got to remember what the weapon is. Let me see here. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. Named Legion members with hunting revolvers, ranger sequoias, brush guns. I don't have any of those. I have a service rifle. And cowboy repeater. My cowboy repeater is in pretty good shape. That might be the way to go. It was in good shape. Oh, did I sell it? Oh, I'm thinking of my pistol. Not the cowboy repeater, but yeah, I guess I could use that. I sold the service rifle though, didn't I? Dang it. I didn't think I did that. I was in a hurry to sell stuff. Okay, cowboy repeater. I have it. Okay. Well, the bodies aren't on here. They'll spawn in it maybe the next time you come into town. There'll be bodies on these little things. Sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. Just like the body that's outside of the uh, Mojave Outpost at uh, or Express in uh, Prim. This guy, Mr. Fox. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Fast forward a little bit. Again, more explanations. Okay, they're still neutral. They're not your enemies. And for sheets and giggles, I decided to follow them, and I found that there's an interesting little encounter you can kind of navigate towards. Basically, what I usually do, or what I did when I first played this game, was I would go through the whole town, loot the way I normally do, each building systematically, finding all the stuff I want to take with me, talk to these guys, go into the Nipton Hall, loot that place. Usually requires a couple of trips back to the uh, outpost to trade stuff. But then one time I decided, well, heck with that. Let's see where these guys go. Let's see how far I can push this neutral relationship Uncle Owen? Aunt Baru? Sorry I love following people who wander off and see what happens to them and so one of my playthroughs that's what I did I followed them off and they come across groups of raiders or whatever they'll fight it out and kill them um if you lose track of the of the people of the of their dogs, don't worry about it. Just stick with Vulpus. Everybody else doesn't matter. Ideally, these guys are going to come come across the trail of the NCR soldiers that are near Camp Searchlight. I think that's what it's called. And they'll fight it out, and these guys will mostly be butchered. The idea is, is to wait until the last moment and try to kill Vulpus with your, uh, you know, designated weapon. The Cowboy Repeater. And that will give you one of your ten named Kaiser Legion kills. This is the easiest one to get, and it's not easy to get. The other ones are all going to have to... Uh, some of them are going to go to the very, very end of the game. Let me just, you know, tell you that's the way it's going to work. That scorpion doesn't want any piece of these guys. Why don't you attack the dude, not me? Just let Eddie get the kills and give me my experience. I'm just going to stick with him. This is a little tiresome and long uh, roundabout way. He, 
They don't travel in a direct path. They're going to do some little jerking around. They're going to take some strange angles. You're not meant to follow these guys. And whenever they get stuck, they'll kind of teleport through objects. And so sometimes you're going to have to jump ahead and catch up to them. You can also push them and try to get them to move along that way. Now he's trying to catch up. Oh, no, he's actually running. And back. Oh, I'm still running. They're not going to be able to climb this hill. Replotting, replotting, replotting. Strange routing. This is not the path I usually take. Whatever happens, stick with Vulpus. For some reason he's going back to town. He's taking an unusual route. They usually go north, at least when I'm playing on the Xbox. Like I said, I'm we're basically in my first time playthrough right now on the PC. So everything that I'm encountering here is for the first time on this platform. They usually make a line. <coughs> yeah, we are way off course. I'm very curious of how this is going to resolve itself. Was there more for it? Well, I got him to stop running anyway. I've got to give him to go back on. Yeah, here come his dudes. They didn't really deal with the raiders. They basically were shooting at me. Hopefully when they encounter the NCR, they actually get into a fight with them. That's what they have done in the past, in my experience. But they, this is not the, the direction they usually take. They're usually up there by where that windmill is. A more direct path. So this is pretty crazy. Well, it's not exactly where the windmill is. They go south of there. Oh! Oh, the raiders attack the poor bighorner. That's good meat. It gives you some, I think, plus three strength, too. Plus two or plus four, I don't remember. It's good strength, whatever it is. Come on, guys, redirect. Redirect. We do not want to go this particular path. Bunch of big horners. I gotta get my sunset sarsaparilla obtained. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, this will suck if they, they're, because of their re, uh, redirection, hopefully they still end up going to the same point. But because of the angle of approach, maybe they're going to miss those NCR troopers altogether. That would suck, because that's the whole reason why I'm following this guy. See, here's the thing I don't want. I don't want to start a fight with these guys because then you're going to become an enemy of the Legion. It'll still happen if you shoot this guy. But I, if I start a fight with them, then I have to fight off all of these guys. I can do it, but... Uh, there's a good chance Eddie would die. I, I would have to, you know, I, I'd end up being crippled. These guys love their melee weapons. They're going to come up and whack me. All I need, all I want to do is get the soldiers and them shooting at each other enough that they start taking enough damage. 
and then bam, with one shot maybe or two shots, I can finish this guy off and get my uh, little reward, my one tenth of a achievement, or it's not an achievement, but whatever they're called. Yeah, we're not, we're off course a little bit. But I think they've straightened it out. Yep, I think they will get there. Over there is a test site, a nuclear test site. Very nasty ghouls over there, a lot of armored ghouls. Um, there's a, a, a highly irradiated zone. Some good loot, but it's, it's a tough spot. There's also a crashed vertebird in a valley farther over. You can get a unique weapon there, depending on whether you're playing with uh, wild wasteland or not, weird wasteland. I don't think it's there if you are playing weird wasteland. It's, you're, you can either get that weapon or you can get the alien pistol, and the alien pistol is what you get if you're on weird wasteland. And it's in a different part of the different part of the Mojave. It's north of New Vegas. This is where I like to scout ahead, see if I can find these guys. I'm concerned that they're going to be a little too far away. Because typically they walk by that camper. The, the NCR camp is roughly where my ex is, roughly. The town is right there. And I'm afraid they're going to miss it. If they don't start traveling back in that direction a little sharper. It's, I might be able to get them. Those are uh, Brahmin. Starving Brahmin. That's a tragic little side story here. You find all the little uh, documents around that barn and you can read about what happened there. up any other magazines or any books I need I don't think I have Let's go to detour uh, we are gonna miss the camp by about a mile half a mile oh, this is no good well why could I dig in this one Seven too. I might be able to. Uh... Nope. I didn't have any special three fifty seven apparently. Oh, these guys gonna completely miss my camp. If they are, that's gonna be very disappointing for me. Yeah, right there is the camp. And there's some soldiers. Oh! Oh, you little dirty bastard. Oh, okay, it's going. Uh... So the game crashed, no big deal. 
I hadn't saved in a while, but I did save. Thankfully, I went into that building in Nipton. So that's where it took me back to. Um, so I got a chance to replay the, the little garbage rearranged mess that was last time. We won't have to go through all the walking that uh, to redirect, but to suffice it to say, I talked to Volpus again. And he left town, and this time he didn't get scared off with the raiders and head towards way south and then head towards the, the barn. Now we're back over where that trailer I pointed in the distance. So we're back on the correct course of him heading towards, um, I think it's, I gotta remember what the dang map's called. I think it's Searchlight, but I don't have it on here. It's where these crossroads are. So we're going to the raided farmstead instead of the little farmstead over there. Now, we still need these guys to encounter our little group of NCR troopers. Let's see if I can get them to ping on the map. I just need them to cross paths. And there they are, clustered. This should work out well. Because if they appear on each other's horizons, they will move to attack each other. And this is, this is, uh-oh. Uh-oh, almost Vulpus. How did I lose Vulpus? He disappeared on me. Oh, I'm gonna have to load that back. I don't want to lose him. Like I said, you don't want him to despawn. He's the whole reason. He's the only one here that's named. The rest of these guys are just regular generic dudes. It's possible he just took a different route, but usually, that's why I said before, you can scout around a little bit, but don't lose sight of him because if he despawns or disappears on you, you're going to be out. It's, it, then all this was just a waste. I'm only doing this to get, because it's the easiest kill to get, on a named Kaiser Legion member. I don't want him to die. Well, I want him to die, but I want him to die by my hands. Not by disappearing into the environment without a trace. Yeah, I can save that a little bit. Unfortunately, he's the front runner. He's the guy that's in front, so he's probably gonna get shot first. save the game cl close to where it's going to happen so if it doesn't happen I can reload it and try again I think we're about there <clears throat> again these are strategies I don't I don't save scum in games I play typically but this is just one of those instances where we're investing a lot of time and energy let's get it right <laughs> I don't want to have to do this again and I don't want to have to wait around and do it again in another playthrough. Just waiting for some shots to start fired. They are going to cross their camp. They end up crossing the ridge above their camp, don't they? Yeah. Yep, he's getting weapons out.
didn't get it. You see the challenges involved in this. I don't want to be behind these guys because they will turn and attack me, but... It would help if I had some... Let's see... Psycho. And might as well get some... Oh, I don't have any medics. That's right. Gave it all to the dude at the, uh, the camp. Get more. Oh, you know what? I gotta get more uh, AP. So, in addition to AP plus 15, maybe that'll give me a third one. Psycho. And rebound. to do the damage. I just have to finish him off. Got him. Against all tyrants, one of ten. Just like that, we're enemies of the Legion. That's why it's bad to do this. You notice I had to kill the second one to get that. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to worry about the radiation. Of the town, you can go ahead and help him out. There's some story stuff in there. Not story stuff, but... Uh, there's a ghoul in there that you can help out. Again, I don't think I'm going to run through all of that. None of it's necessary. Good experience, though. Let's see if I can find some of the other bodies. Where is Vulpus's body? There he is. He won his hat. Yeah, I got a ripper, too. It's a little chainsaw. I got your hat. Now, if you become an enemy of the Legion, they're going to start sending assassin crews at you, which are really nasty and early on in the game are deadly. Um, basically, all you need to do is, is basically kick it into high gear and get to Vegas. You get to a point where you can get back to being in a neutral state with them. So it's not a death sentence necessarily, and you can get back on the, the road and actually do missions for the Legion and do some other stuff. Basically, the Legion is kind of like a bigger version of the Powder Gangers. I find them wholly unredeemable and disgusting. But they do have a few missions that, and a few other things that can be helpful. They have a merchant that you can only access, access if you visit their camp. You can't access their camp unless you are on good terms with them. So it's... <laughs> mm -hmm. Ugh, 
Huh. I'm not going to do the story here. I'm just here to get that book again. And of course the lovely bottle caps. Got the rest of the stuff this isn't really exciting. Let's go, Eddie. Okay, get the book read. Do that too. Didn't do this last time. Nah, I don't need sensor modules. Duffel bags, always good. Another. Yeah, more flame or fuel. And we are officially overloaded again. There you go, Eddie. You can do something for me. Rin, rin, rin. All right. On the way back, I'm trying to think of some other things I can interact with and deal with. Oh, oh, I could have thought of something else. I was going to do this in the next recording, but since we're over here, I might as well do this now. It might backfire on me because I made enemies with the stupid Legion. What in the heck am I at here? Oh god, I'm way off course. So, nah, I'm not going to do any spoilers. You have to learn for yourself. There's a campsite there. I visited that one. Those are decent places. The farm that we... We didn't actually pass the farm. We did on one of the views. This little farm's got some good loot. There's actually a unique uh, cleaver inside. It's in a little farm. They tried to make a farm planting some of the wildlife and some of them succeeded and some of them failed. They have a water source. It is dirty. In other words, it's radioactive, but it's not too dirty. This is another decent, if you really were forced to, little kind of home on the range. Oh, there's good mechanical stuff in there. I'm just going to leave it for now because I'm tired of overloading my weight. But there is a unique cleaver on here called the chopper. There's also a Tumblr's Today, which is nice. It's a lockpicking magazine. Some more ammo. Varmint rifle. Fine. Some mercenary armor. And like usual, there's a little straight razor there. I don't know why they always seem to be attached. stop doing that. I keep pushing the wrong button. Chop, chop, chop. The campsite itself is okay. I mean, there's no, you know, fix-it benches and stuff, but it's not bad. It's, there's no enemies that spawn here. You are in the vicinity of the raiders that are out there trying to uh, ambush people going from uh, from Nipton. Another little thing that's easy to miss is this little camp, the little camp, the little uh, burial here. This guy's got a little radio to keep his friend, spouse, whatever, 
company. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with any of that. I gotta go back to my whiskey drinking ways. So right there's Nipton. Uh, raiders down there eating, kill, and loot. Um, I think there might be a magazine at that wreckage. But this is the next thing I'm going to go show you. This I was intending to do in a next the next recording, but since we're here, here they are. When you approach this bridge, these guys spawn here. There's two merchants traveling here, each of them with a Brahmin, each of them with a bodyguard. And they're going to travel up the road and get ambushed by some of Caesar's Legion guys. Now, if I hadn't gotten into trouble with Caesar already, I could go over there and just kind of stay out of the fight and let them do their thing. I want to see what happens. It says they're still neutral, so maybe they won't attack me. This is another opportunity for you to have a bunch of NPCs fight each other, and you can just pick up the pieces afterwards. Now, ideally, you want the merchants to survive. And they do have high-powered weapons and the two bodyguards, so they're more likely to survive than the legionnaires. Some of them are carrying melee weapons. The idea is, is that you can use these merchants to sell the gear off the dead bodies. If you start shooting at them, though, it's going to go... It's going to make... They're going to even be even more angry with you. And you don't want to get your negative get on their negative side too much or, or like I said they'll send assassins after you well they killed one of them sorry shoot I should do that to the mercenary I didn't mean to Well, that was a cluster fob. Usually, the mercenaries win pretty easily. They might lose one of the guards, but they usually lose one person. Yeah, now they hate me. Hey, I gotta live with it. Now, it's going to make you super slow, but because all the merchants died, you can't sell stuff to them. And it gives you ample bodies to loot. The legionnaires. I was watching a... Uh, yeah, a streamer do this game yesterday, and they got to this encounter. Uh, but when they showed up, they were in the distance and the firefight started and when they got closer three of the caravaners survived all the legionnaires were dead but there was also all sorts of dead ncr bodies around so apparently the ncr and the legion crossed paths here and shot it out and <laughs> and the other guys showed up and it was just more chaos so there was just you figure there's just even more bodies for you to lose. oh yeah by the way then another uh, bright follower There's another one further down the road. <laughs> it sucks. It really does suck that those all the merchants died. But once I saw that they were gonna they were getting close to being killed, those guys with the melee weapons were running around and hacking at them. I figured I had to jump in. Of course, now these guys are hate. Now they hate me. There's nothing I can do. The problem is, is there's no there's no merchants that way. I have to go all the way to Novak to go that way, and I'm not ready to go to Novak. So this is going to be interesting. I'm probably going to stop recording there uh, because I'm going to have to make a, a long, slow walk back to... Holy crap. I'm either going to have to go to Novak or go all the way back to the Mojave Outpost, which is even farther away. Because there's nobody in, there's no merchants in Nipton. Great. 
Yeah, this didn't work out very well. I'm getting a neutral. There must be a crow out there. Yeah, uh, that's a really a good place to stop. I didn't get near as many tips thrown into this one, just a few things, but we did get one of those hard-to-get kills on a named Caesar's Legion. I think that's worth it. Um, it showed you some of the hot spots and danger spots between the Mojave Outpost and Nipton. We didn't do anything in Nipton, but really there's nothing really to go over in Nipton. Nipton's got the, the city hall there. It's just about clearing it out and getting all the loot. Uh, as I said, I usually go through that town, needle and comb, and get every little bit of stuff. The idea is, is you want to get a lot of caps, because once you get to New Vegas, even before you get there, there's going to be opportunities to, to spend a lot of money, and if you don't have a lot of money, then you're going to need to rely on luck and go into the casinos and win money. But we'll get to that later. That's later in the game. For now, I'm just going to have to call it because this is going to be a long haul back. Oh, save the game first, idiot. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to call it there. Uh, I am going to record more. There's, there, I'm going to keep churning these out as quickly as I can get them, but I am going to take time not recording in between and catching up and completing some things. So we'll see how long this takes. Uh, sorry for the uh, little glitches that were in there. I can't do anything about it. If the game crashes, the game crashes. Uh, at least you're getting to see things as, as it really is. This is the way the game plays. If you don't like the way the game plays, well, there's other games you can play. Me, I love this game, even with its little inconsistencies and quirks. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. It should be out soon. Thanks for watching.